Hey guys, even here, and even though we are less than 4 weeks out of Arnold Classic, I wanted to take a quick look at a couple of bodybuilders, big name bodybuilders, who are not competing, who are not prepping for the Arnold Classic, but are already deep into their off seasons, and they seem to be making a solid progress at this point. Also, we got a couple of updates of some guys doing the Arnold Classic, but as you can see, we're gonna start with an off-season update of Regan Grimes. So, Regan just posted this photo, this is just a mirror selfie after he trained his chest, and I gotta say, he is getting bigger, he is getting rounder, he is getting more 3D. Now, as you guys, I'm sure remember, he was qualified for the Mr. Olympia 2022, but he decided to skip it because he wanted to focus on his off-season, because he wanted to grow, to get bigger. Because he is one of those guys who are kind of in between the categories. You know, guys like Patrick Moore, for example, maybe Rafael Brandau, until this year, since he was 10th at the Mr. Olympia, I can say that he is in between, he is for the Open now. There are guys like that, who are too big, for classic, too heavy, but are too small in the open. And this is the photo that Chris Acido, his former, Regan's former coach, posted, in which he's joking around. He's saying that Regan actually competed in a man's physique show, which is not true, obviously. He was competing in classic physique that one year. Uh, he won, I think, one Coover Pro, and then he got to the Mr. Actually, New York Pro, I think it was. And then he got to the Mr. Olympia stage, where he didn't do too well, but he didn't do too bad. Uh, so, yeah, he decided to stay in the open because, of course, his body wants to grow. He's just not there yet. And now he's focused on growing and actually getting to that point where he can actually be competitive against the guys like uh, Hadi Chopin, Derek Lansford, Big Ramy, Nick Walker. So, with his crazy aesthetics, crazy genetics, crazy shape, he can do really freaking well in the open if he grows enough and doesn't ruin his aesthetics, his classic lines, his midsection in particular, uh, in the process of trying to put on a lot of muscle, and this is him right now. So here you can see that he definitely is bigger, his face is bloated, uh, his straps are big, like his neck is not even visible, his delts are popping like crazy, so he's definitely bigger. Uh, is he big enough right now to like start prepping for a show? I don't think so, I think he needs more time if he really wants to be competitive for a guy of his height, of his frame, he needs to get a little bit bigger than this, but he's on the right path, he's obviously trying to grow, and I think he's growing, for sure, I think he looks bigger than he ever was so far. Alright, now we have another guy who is in the offseason, also younger guy, even younger than Regan, I think he's like two years younger than Regan, and this guy has a ton of potential, man, like, he, this guy has incredible freaking shape, but for his enormous frame... He needs to work really hard to fill it up. And as you can see, he's on the road to 340 pounds. And that does sound like a reasonable number for his size, you know, for his height and his frame. Right now, he does need to be somewhere around 340 pounds in the offseason. If he wants to be like, I don't know, 280, somewhere around there, he needs to be really heavy because he's very tall and he's very wide. And there are certain body parts that he really needs to improve. Well, actually, let me take that back. There is one body part that really needs to be improved more, much, much more than the others, and that's his back. His back was so underwhelming last time he competed compared to everything else, compared to his front and side poses. Also, I would say from the side, he needs more thickness, like chest to back, density, uh, side leg, you know, like hamstrings. But I think back is like the biggest thing he needs to improve. Now, this was Tampa Pro, he competed against Akeem Williams and Kamal Elgarni, and Akeem is also like one of the worst backs in bodybuilding today, I mean from the top open guys, this guy was 6th at the Mr. Olympia, so he's one of the best bodybuilders in the world right now, so considering that, and considering how freaky everything else is on his physique, how good of a bodybuilder he is, his back is really freaking shallow. 
and you have Kamala Gardner right there, who is a 212 guy, who is not a biggest guy, though his back looks the best here in the, in this comparison, and you can see Quinton on the right with that hole in the middle of his back, so he definitely needs to add more tissue to that back, because it does look very shallow right now, or at least it did last year. And this is his back right now at 323 pounds, which is like really freaking big, really heavy. So he definitely gained muscle because he's heavier than he ever was. And as you can see, his body fat percent is very good for the off season. Now I'm wondering how much of that muscle is new muscle actually is in the back, because in this photo. I mean, back, especially in the back double bicep, it, it tends to look worse in the off-season, much, much worse than it does when you are shredded. So we're gonna see how much progress he made in that back once he is shredded and on the stage, but based on these off-season photos, I think he's better. I think he gained some muscle in that back. I don't think it's gonna be a strong body part for him. I think it's still gonna be his weakest body part. But I think he did improve it. He is growing. And especially from the front. This is him right now from the front. So as you can see, he's really freaking massive. And once again, he's on the road to 340. And he has only 17 more pounds to go. And I'm sure he will reach it. If he has a goal, specific goal like that, and he's only 17 pounds away, I'm pretty sure he's gonna reach it. He's gonna stay in a really good shape. And now he's coached by Matt Jansen. Guys, let's say second best coach in the world. I'm pretty sure Heinrich Rambert is the best coach in the world right now. He proved himself, but then second best coach in the world uh, who has third place in the Open and the winner of 212, Nick Walker and Sean Clarida. I think Matt Jansen is second best coach in the world and he's coaching this guy, Quint Quint Beastwood or Quinton Araya, and I'm pretty sure this guy is gonna make serious progress, and the next time we see him compete, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be winning pro shows and competing at the Mr. Olympia. Once again, this guy is very young and there is a bright future ahead of him. In the next five years, he might be battling for that Mr. Olympia title. What do you guys think? Alright, next, uh, let's move on to some classic physique talk, also off-season, Vasily Vissers right now with a physique update in which he does look really freaking impressive, like really 3D, really big, full and round, and up until this year, I didn't want to talk too much about Wesley because he was, to me at least, he was like more of a YouTube personality, I mean, he was competing and he was winning pro shows, but so were the other 60 guys who are competing at the Mr. Olympia st stage, so he wasn't that special, but this year he finally proved himself, he was actually 8 at the Mr. Olympia, I don't know if you guys forgot about that, but he finally made it, he finally made it through, he finally figured it out, he brought good conditioning to the stage, uh, he's, he was just overall better, he improved a little bit over the years, and finally he managed, he became one of the 8 best classic physique guys in the world, which is a huge success, and now as you can see, his off season seems to be very productive, because he does look really big, really full, I don't know if he already announced which show he's gonna do to try and qualify for the Mr. Olympia, because he needs to qualify, he, he's not one of the top 3 guys, I believe top 3 guys in the classic get automatic qualification, he needs to compete, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna get an easy qualification, whichever show he does, and I'm really happy for Wesley, because I'm a huge fan of his physique, like, he really reminds me of Arnold Schwarzenegger, he really does have those golden, classic era type of genetics, and uh, I think the judges finally uh, decided to reward that, uh, they learned how to appreciate his physique, and also he figured out his conditioning, I think that was the main thing, finally he brought good conditioning, he was like fat for the past, I don't know how many years he was competing, he was never in condition, he was never in shape, finally he brought good conditioning, and he placed really well, and there is definitely more room to progress, do I see this guy placing much higher than 8 in the Mr. Olympia? I think I can see him being top 6, but honestly, I think that's about it. I don't think he can actually compete against guys like Chris Bumstead, Ramondino, Urs Kalecinski and some others. I think there are maybe like a couple of spots left for him to jump before he reaches his full potential, but, you know, that's a huge success by itself. What do you guys think?
All right, now we have an update of Samson Dauda less than four weeks out of Arnold Classic looking absolutely ridiculous right now. His conditioning is really coming along, but he looks thick, man, like he looks big. Uh, I don't know if Andrew Jack can match this thickness. I mean, the only guy that can really match him in that area, of course, there is Big Ramy, but Big Ramy, as you guys know, has so many problems with his physique. The only guy that has like crazy thickness and also is very complete is Nick Walker. Maybe Nick is a little bit thicker even, but he's not as aesthetic. He is not as well shaped. And then you have also Andrew Jack, who is incredibly crazy shaped and he has crazy 3D and stuff like that. So, uh, as I said before, I have a hunch, I have a feeling that Andrew Jack is going to win. But now looking at Samson, I don't know. I don't know because Samson does look really freaking good right now. In this photo in particular, like he looks really big, really thick, really round. And the caption of this photo is something that really draws my eyes. He says, what are you willing to do to achieve what you've never done before? And then he answers for himself. He says everything. So he's ready to do whatever it takes. He's ready. He's willing to do everything for this prep, for the Arnold Classic. I'm sure that's what he means. Now, what does he mean when he says everything? Is he talking about uh, dieting harder, doing more cardio, I don't know, lifting heavier weights? I don't think so. I really don't think he's referring to that. I mean, that's all uh, what everybody can do. I I'm pretty sure he's talking about you know, the dark side of bodybuilding, I'm pretty sure he's talking about gear, so he's probably willing to do crazy stuff for this prep, but I don't know, maybe he's talking about dieting, like he wasn't dieting that hard and now he's gonna, I don't know, eat less carbs, like, I don't know, squeeze his glutes more when he's doing cardio, <laughs> I, I really don't think that's it. I mean, I don't know what he means, but I'm assuming he's willing to do crazy stuff, risky stuff, and uh, I think that's the way. Um, it's not the healthiest way, for sure, but I think that's the way to achieve greatness, and you need to risk some things if you want to do that. So, if Samson... I, I heard this from uh, Fuad and the other guys at the podcast, that Samson is not really using a super high dosage, that he's actually very low. So, if, he, if that's true and he ups things now, then he can make serious progress for the Arnold Classic. And I'm guessing right now, at about four weeks out, he's the flattest that he's gonna be ever. And I'm guessing now he's gonna start getting much, much better every day. And I think at the Arnold Classic, he's going to peak so, so good that that show is going to be really freaking amazing, that does not mean that the other guys are not gonna be much more impressive as well, I'm sure Andrew Jack is gonna bring something we never saw so far, I'm also very sure that Nick is gonna bring something crazy, something we haven't seen so far, so those three guys are my top three and they're gonna bring something crazy to that stage, I'm sure about that, it's gonna be a hell of a show, I can't wait to finally see it go down, uh, tell me what do you guys think about Samson Dauda and where do you think he will place? Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and for more bodybuilding stuff like this, subscribe to my channel guys. Thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.